Welcome back. Despite the new surge in COVID cases, there are ways, in fact, to stay positive in the new year and help those who might need some support. Dr. Jonathan Sharon is the director of mental health for Los Angeles County. He joins us now live to tell us how exactly to get that done. Uh, Dr. Sharon, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, uh, Mark, and thanks so much for having me. I, I want to thank you and ABC really for highlighting mental health on your show. Uh, very, very important, very much appreciated. Uh, you know, in terms of this topic, uh, we have to face it, and at some level not sugarcoat, that we're in the middle of a marathon, and it's a marathon with a lot of hills. And, you know, the question that a lot of people want to know is, is it mile 5, 15, 25? And the fact is that we don't really know, and, and many of us are hurting, some more than others, and it changes for us uh, individually from week to week, from day to day. That said, I think in the context of all that we've been through, facing um, ongoing challenges, that we really have become much more resilient. And it's important that we hold on and that we hold on to those things that we have been able to develop uh, as individuals, as families, and as communities. We must stay connected, engage in purposeful and healthy activities, make sure that we're sleeping and eating well, listen to each other, really, really careful, be supportive, and if necessary, reach out. Reach out to the Department of Mental Health. The number's behind me, 85, uh, sorry, 800-854-7771. There's also our website. And on our website, speaking of Headspace, we actually provide Headspace, which is an important app that helps people meditate and relax, as well as I Prevail, which is a form of uh, mental health treatment that can be delivered virtually. And you answered a lot of the questions there because how do people really avoid becoming isolated? You gave some of the ways they can get that help. I mean, are you seeing numbers kind of increase here over the past, you know, few months as cases rise once again? Yeah, we've seen an increase in people reaching out to, um, to our helpline uh, to get referrals, um, to get emotional support, um, you know, and to also um, have our, the department and um, some of our community-based organi uh, organizations respond in real time. And we've seen that rise and fall, and it, there is some correlation between what's going on, obviously, uh, with the pandemic uh, and the numbers and the um, amount of volume that we're seeing. And with so many people testing positive right now for COVID, albeit a lot of them are asymptomatic, but we have a lot of cases, there's a lot of anxiety for people going back to work, perhaps sending their kids back to school. Any insight? What is the best way to deal with it? Well, I think some of the things that I've talked about today and that I've talked about in the past, and, you know, it's affecting everyone. It's affecting the Department of Mental Health and other departments in the county because we have a lot of staff who, um, you know, are in quarantine and are not able to, uh, to, to provide the services. Uh, but, you know, the keys really are uh, looking at what we've been able to do and how we've been able to succeed thus far and focusing on those proven strategies. And I, you know, I'm not a public health expert, but it may be that there are patterns emerging um, suggesting that we're moving towards herd or population immunity um, with variants that um, are perhaps uh, less virulent, less deadly. And if you look back 100 years to the pandemic of 1918, it started in February and ended it uh, two years later in April in the spring. And I, I don't mean to prompt uh, hope unnecessarily, but I think it's important that we realize that there will be light at the end of the tunnel and that we have to stay together, stay strong, um, and really, really look out for each other uh, at such a very, very challenging time. Well, I need it. I think we all need it, and we appreciate that hope. And, uh, yeah, I think we're hoping it's uh, right here at the uh, around the corner. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Jonathan Sharon, we appreciate it. Director of Mental Health for Los Angeles County, thanks for joining us. Thanks again, Mark. Have a great day.